Hey everybody, how are y'all doing today? This is Cliff Goat, and I'm going to be providing a recorded gameplay of me playing Free For All on Carrier, in which I went 30 and 5 using the Foul OSW with Reflex Sight and Quick Draw Handle, with an, and an MP7 with Suppressor, Hardline Toughness, Dexterity, and a Grenade. As you can see there, I opened the match off with a nice triple kill, which that's the last, that's the Last thing I expected to start off the match, but I'll take it. But anyway, my uh, philosophy going to the match was um, for ranged attacks, use my foul since it packs a good punch and the accuracy is pretty good. And then pull out my MP7 for a lot of the close range kills in case I ran short on ammo and to uh, reduce the time I needed to reload. And just save that for <clears throat> whenever I'm alone and not in a combat area. Because one of my weaknesses is I reload a little bit too often. But um, <clears throat> I've learned over the past few games today I've been playing to not reload as much. Like in this situation it was okay since I had cover. And took out that guy with the right shield. Or the, uh, or um was that the assault shield they call it in Black Ops 2? I'm not sure exactly what they call it. But anyway, I get on a big streak here. Get the RCXD pretty quickly. I'm glad I had a hard line on so I can, so I can get these kill streaks a lot faster. But yeah, I'm glad the RCXD is back in Black Ops 2. It is one of my favorite kill streaks for sure. Because I'm almost guaranteed to get at least one kill with the RC. And I love using the boost at the very end just to catch up with the guy when he knows he's toast so <clears throat> I love using that I catch this guy from behind on bloodthirsty which I believe is a five kill streak and that's another good use of having my mp7 so I can effectively use hip fire around corners like that that guy saw me I see clearly on the replay but I don't know how I didn't react to him quick enough here so that was just an epic fail Mr. Sir Jerry 666 yeah, I went ahead and used my lightning strike. Negative EKIA. Still racking up a few kills as I go along. It was a pretty close match throughout. But here, I decided to go up the stairs and just peek out around the area. Because a lot of people spawn to the left right there. Right there, straight ahead and to the left a little bit. Yeah. That's where a lot of people spawn, so I try to keep an eye on that. Like in this situation, I want to ideally want to use my foul. I'm still working on my trigger finger for the semi automatics. But I like the MP7. I like to use it for um, like mid range to low range assaults. Because the accuracy is. And I mean the range is pretty good for an SMG. It was my favorite gun from Modern Warfare 3. And I still keep on using it, even here on Black Ops 2. And see a bunch of guys are just coming to that little area where I just killed those guys at. That's the same place I opened the triple kill at. That's where you tend to find a lot of people just chilling on a carrier on free for all. And probably on other game modes also, like right there. I mean I'm not trying to camp, I'm just trying to stay chill. Just trying to wait for the, the coast to clear, you know? But I went ahead and got an extra kill there. And uh, one of my weaknesses on Call of Duty game modes on general, not free for all. I do really good on there typically. But like other game types, I don't camp enough. Not to say that I aspire to be a full blooded camper or anything. But I rush probably 90 to 95% of the time. I'm not patient enough. I'm kind of like a, uh, I'm kind of like Michael Vick, sort of speak. I always want to, <laughs> I always want to make the big play every play, sort of speak, you know. So I figure that on free for all is a good mode that I can um, try to learn and try to apply a little bit of both camping and uh, well, not camping, but being a little more defensive as well as playing offensive. I think that'll help my game a little bit more because it's easier to um, to nurture your game or at least adjust it on free for all I believe than any other game mode because you have objectives going on you got guys spawning on one side of the map 
or whatnot to uh, be advised. That makes it a little bit more difficult for me to actually figure out what's going on, you know, and to uh, use a good strategy that'll be effective. But on here, free for all, it's pretty easy. And check out this last kill. I thought I had double there, but it was a fun way to end the match. But anyway. That is uh, my 30 and 5 match on Carrier. And I hope you enjoyed that gameplay. I'll be producing more videos, uh, more Black Ops 2 videos, and hopefully some more Halo videos over the course of the next month or two as we progress to the holiday season. So thanks for watching. And don't forget, if you liked the video, please click like and please click subscribe at the top of the page. Subscribe to my YouTube page here at youtube.com slash cliffgoat and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash kellyparker.